Folks, hello and welcome to Tavern Chat. I'm your host, Eric Tenkar, your bartender in the OSR. I was going to do a, a video on Jim Ward, his suspension from a, a community on Facebook, but I think Wonderfield's current statement needs to be looked at. Ugh, it's killing me. I'll get to Jim later, probably today. So, it's to give me indigestion. Seriously, folks. Wonderfield shared this two hours ago. Two hours ago. Some like to think we're making this targeted harassment up, but it's hurting all of us. All right. What the targeted harassment is, we're going to find out. All of us. Uh, I, I thought that Wonderfield, that Stephen Diehart, Stephen Diehart was not part of uh, the TSR, Dungeon Hobby Shop, although I do believe that a number of people were at the uh, event that Ernie was throwing this past weekend, including Stephen Diehart, including just Lanasa. So apparently, uh, whatever bad blood was going on, maybe there isn't bad blood now. I don't know. So, now in the third year, third year of, uh, again, uh, Dinehart is not very good at explaining things. So, here, fill in the blanks. And there's going to be a lot of blanks to fill in, folks. But they still haven't won. Now, I'm going to... I'll throw you the bone. They, they, is probably Watsy. Okay? They is probably Watsy. And the us, I'm guessing, is TSR. I don't know. We're still here and working hard to make dreams come true. Whose dreams? Not our dreams. But, and I'm not going to tell you what those dreams are, but that's well, okay. Your support is appreciated. Hoorah. Sometimes things need to stay dreams. Dreams can come true. It can happen to you. All right. Uh, we can't let the megacorps. Oh, my God. Let's throw out those names. Let's throw out those words from 2000 AD and Judge Dredd. We can't let those megacorps take over. Or their goons. Oh, Pinkertons, right? No, oh, no, no. The goons in this case are, are lawyers. Steal from us or defame us anymore with their lies. Please enlighten us as to which lies those are. I don't know. I, seriously, I don't know. Anti-competitive practices are illegal. Okay. Uh, sure they are. I'd like to know what anti-competitive practices that they're talking about. Again, Wonderfilled, most likely Dinehart, is not very good at details. Is very good at the wide brush painting. You fill in the blanks because I can't be bothered. As we approach the 50th anniversary of hashtag d and &D, next year, the attacks will only sharpen. Now, this is where it gets interesting, folks. Follow along. We will try to parse this. As Hasbro, okay, attempts to buy back. Okay, now, they, they can't buy back. Well, buy back the bankrupt company. They're not buying anything back, right? Because this is not, this TSR that's going bankrupt is not the TSR that was going bankrupt in the 90s and got bought out by Wizards of the Coast, which later got bought out by Hasbro. It's not the same company. So they can't buy it back. It doesn't work that way. There's a level of, I was I was going to use a big word, but there's a there's a level of disconnect. We'll leave it at that. Disconnect from what many of us would consider to be the real world. 
Oh, and divorced from reality. Divorced from reality. That it is not the same company. I don't care if the letters are the same. It's not the same company. They can't buy it back. But let's go forward from that because it gets even more inter- it gets more interesting than that. That they've been attempting to destroy. Now, just to put things in perspective, TSR sued Wati first. So, but let's go from there. Tactical study rules, t- hashtag TSR. Now, I don't believe that TSR is tactical study rules this time. So saying it's tactical study rules, I believe is wrong. I'm sure somebody will correct me in the comments, but but let's let's leave that. With now, this is where it gets interesting. Gary Gygax Jr. Now, I'm gonna before I finish the sentence. Who is Gary Gygax Jr.? That's Ernie Gygax. Ernie does not does not call himself Gary Gygax Jr. So why is Wonderful, who always, Steinhardt always does this tactic. He always calls Ernie Gary Gygax Jr. because he's trying to throw around somebody else's clout. It's not even his clout, um, but he's trying to throw somebody else's clout around. He did it, by the way, on Giant Lands. Which, Gary Gygax Jr. How about Ernest Gary Gygax Jr.? No? No? Not good enough for you? All right. At the helm. Whoa, 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 whoa. TSR with Gary Gygax Jr. at the helm. That would mean... Now, hold on, because it gets a little confusing here. Theoretically, that could mean that when papers were submitted to a court saying that these companies, Dungeon Hobby Shop Museum and TSR, were only owned by one person and Gary Gygax Jr. slash Ernie was not that person, that that paperwork could be wrong. However, however, it could also mean that there are two TSRs and of course, Dinehart is playing mind games with people because the TSR that filed bankruptcy is in North Carolina. But there is a secondary LLC or a second LLC in, you guessed it, Wisconsin. So could that be what's being referred to? But in that case, that TSR isn't going bankrupt unless they're actually the same company. If Ernie somehow had said, ooh, ooh, thank you, Mr. Kata. Yes, I want to take possession of the company going bankrupt and be responsible for it. Uh, Ernie, that's on uh, that's on you, man. I, you've made some pretty poor decisions in your life. That one would likely top them all. Or this could be referring to the second TSR LLC, in which case this is all bullshit anyway because that's not the one going bankrupt, but that's also the one that doesn't claim any of the uh, trademarks. And a trade... Oh. An already confusing situation made even worse, even worse, by Steve Dinehart. So thank you, Mr. Dinehart, for muddying the waters even more. By the way, uh, Steve, if you're listening to this, can you tell us which it's hurting all of us? Let us know who those us are. Okay. Um, Confirm who they are that haven't won and let us know who we are that's still here working hard to make dreams come true. Because I think people would like to know who you're referring to. You don't what really. What are those dreams? Uh, I'm, uh, you know what? what? It's, it, it's a family show. I'd, ri- I'd rather not get into what the possibility of those dreams could be. Mm-hmm. Well, it's not really a family show, but still I don't want to get, I don't want to get demonetized. All right, folks. Now, again, likely a follow-up to this. There's some uh, activity going on with uh, Jim Ward. It might be more than it appears on the surface. I don't know, but we'll take a look at it later today with a second video or early tomorrow. I will, I will see how this plays out. On that note, be safe, be well, God bless. Roll those dice, roll them well. 
if needed. There are important numbers on the bottom of this screen. They will be on pretty much every video through the end of the month. Use them if you need them. Give them to people if you think that they need them. These are free resources for those in need. And, uh, other than that, God bless. Be good. I'll catch you later.